2012 NCAA National Basketball Champions head coach John Calipari for the Riders Up call for the 138th consecutive running of the Kentucky Derby. Riders Up! Finally got it out, Riders Up! So there's a look at uh, Daddy Longlegs, Colin O'Donoghue, the Irish rider has come across to ride this internationally traveled horse. And he'll be the first one to get a leg up. And they'll begin their walk in the walking ring circle and then head to the racetrack. There is the veteran John Cord on Optimizer. Tom, when I was in the jocks room today, I, I noticed there, there was a sense of, of quietness, relaxed uh, jockeys in there today. Normally, there's a lot of uh, riders that are nervous. We've got four riders that have never ridden in the Kentucky Derby today. They even seemed relaxed. What about you? And being a veteran, did you did you still get the butterflies? Um, you know, I, I had this feeling I would be lying if I said I didn't get nervous, but once I got legged up on the horse's back after this moment right here, it just became peaceful, and I knew that I was the one in charge at that point. It's actually a very relaxing feeling when you finally do get legged up. Bob Baffert didn't name names the other morning, but he said he's been at the Kentucky Derby and looked into his jockey's eyes and saw a deer in the headlights <laughs> looking and went, uh-oh, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> and, of course, the... Uh, the horses sense something special is about to occur too with the big crowd and coming up will be the call to the post then that wonderful sentimental moment the playing of my old kentucky home staff and horsemen of Churchill Downs proudly present the 138th running of the Kentucky Derby presented by Yum Brands. Please rise as the University of Louisville marching band plays My Old Kentucky Home. And the cheers of the record crowd of over 165,000 with the playing of my old Kentucky home. And there is Daddy Longlegs, number one, the international traveler, bred in Kentucky, but a winner in Ireland is based England and Dubai, where he took the UAE Derby at a mile and three sixteenths. His only race on dirt, a 12th here in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. His trainer, Aiden O'Brien, won the English 2000 Guineas earlier today. Number two is Optimizer, trained by four-time Derby winner Wayne Lucas, but he has only one career win, this Colt, and that was on the turf at Saratoga last year. Owner Brad Kelly just paid $36 million to buy historic Calumet Farm. 
Number three is Take Charge Indy. Calvin Burrell seeks his fourth Derby victory aboard the Florida Derby winner. Owner Maribeth Sanford is a Louisville native now living in suburban Chicago. She developed Bag Makers Incorporated, one of the largest makers of reusable grocery bags in the country. The Four Horses Union Rags. Michael Matz has followed the same formula he used to win the Derby with Barbaro. This colt has been sometimes brilliant, sometimes erratic, with a propensity for trouble, compromised by a poor ride when third in the Florida Derby. Dullahan is the five, named for a creature headless in Irish fairy tales. Jerry Crawford of Des Moines, whose roots are in Ireland, heads the Donegal Racing Partnership for this Bluegrass Stakes winner who is 0 for 3 on dirt. His half-brother, Mind That Bird, won the 2009 Kentucky Derby. The six is Bodemeister, only four career starts, and none last year, and the last Derby winner to have not raced to two, Apollo, in 1882. Yet he was brilliant for Bob Baffert and Mike Smith with a nearly 10-length victory in the Arkansas Derby. He'll face some early pace pressure today. Seven is Rousing Sermon, a late-running California bred colt trained by Hall of Famer Jerry Hollendorfer in search of his first Derby victory. This horse was third in the Louisiana Derby. Number eight is Creative Cause, who gives 71-year-old veterinarian turned trainer Mike Harrington and 80-year-old owner Heinz Steinman their first trip to the Derby. Steinman, a native of Switzerland, a champion skier at UCLA and now a ski resort owner with 11 children and 31 grandchildren. His colt won the San Felipe, then beaten the nose in the Santa Anita Derby. The nine horse is Trinneberg, owned by Shivanda Parbu from Trinidad, who bought the colt on a whim while making a delivery at the Ocala Breeders' Sale of two-year-olds. Trained by his dad, Biznat, and Trinneberg has brilliant speed. He's never been beyond seven furlongs. Watch out when he starts to back up. Number 10 is Daddy Knows Best, one of two trained by Steve Asmussen, who is 0 for 10 at the Derby. Owned by Texans Kathy and Bob Zollers. This horse has won two in a row, but against lesser competition. The 11 is Alpha. Sheikh Mohammed, the ruler of Dubai, has been trying to win the Derby since 1999. His best finish, sixth. This horse has sometimes been fractious at the gate, but was perfectly behaved in the Wood Memorial, where he checked sharply in the first turn, still finished second by a neck to gemologist. The 12 is Perspective. Both jockey Luis Contreras, trainer Mark Cassie, Sovereign Award winners as Canadian champions. And owner Jack Oxley tasted Derby magic with Monarcos in 2001. This colt winner of the Tampa Bay Derby, then sixth in the Bluegrass. 13 went the day well. The same owner, trainer, jockey that scored with Animal Kingdom in the Derby last year. And the same prep race win, too. The spiral stakes at Turfway. This horse began his career in England and is named for a British World War II movie. 14 is Hansen. He's been on his toes since coming over from the stable area. Champion two-year-old last year. Won a key race, the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, here at Churchill Downs, trying to temper his speed as he did in winning the Gotham. Then he reverted with a second in the bluegrass. Gemologist is the 15, five for five in his career. Two of those wins here at Churchill Downs. Never seriously challenged until the Wood Memorial, where he fought off Alpha. This is the same owner-trainer combination, Windstar and Pletcher, that won the Derby with Super Saver two years ago. El Padrino is 16, the godfather in Spanish, and on Cinco de Mayo. This is the second Pletcher trainee who won the Risen Star, then a disappointing fourth in the Florida Derby. 17, Dunn Talking, the stretch-running winner of the Illinois Derby, who gives 67-year-old trainer Hamilton Smith his first Derby horse, bred and owned by the Skedaddle Stable, three friends from Maryland. 18 is Sabercat, the second Asmussen trained colt, ridden by Corey Nakatani, who was second on Nero last year, but holds the record with an 0 for 15 mark at the Derby. This late running colt was third in the Arkansas Derby. 19, I'll have another. That's what owner Paul Redham says when his wife Zilla asks if he wants another cookie. The Santa Anita Derby winner gave jockey Mario Gutierrez his biggest win until earlier this year he'd been based at Hastings Park in Vancouver. And number 20 is Liaison, the second Bob Baffert trained colt who has never realized the potential he showed last year. He was sixth in the Santa Anita Derby, but convinced Baffert to run him with a good work at Churchill Downs a couple of weeks ago. So there are the 20 horses that will contest the 138th Kentucky Derby. A mile and a quarter with a purse of $2 million, and the jockeys are getting ready too. Mike Smith is on Bodie Meister, getting some play now at 6-1. to one. Julian Leperu aboard the favorite, Union Rags. Kent DeSormo rides Dullahan. And Calvin Burrell, take charge Indians, his mouth. 
a look at the odds. Our Union Rags is nine to two. Bodie Meister now five to one. So very close. Hanson 14 to one. Gemologist eight to one as they continue to load into the starting gate. 20 horses, which means uh, an auxiliary starting gate. And uh, Michael Matz, who won the Derby in 2006 with Barbaro, watches his coat, Union Rags, being led into the gate. The owner, Phyllis Wyatt, who had the dream, had to have the horse back. She paid nearly three times what she sold him for initially to get him back. Bob Baffert, we talked about what his thoughts might be. He has two horses, liaison on the outside, and Bodie Meister, named for his seven-year-old son. Dr. Kendall Hansen, the owner of Hansen, the white horse, as they load into the gate. Larry Colvis with the call. All in line and ready for the start. They're off in the Kentucky Derby. And as expected, Trini Berg had a great start. Gemologist is also out quickly. Hansen is in between horses, and Bodie Meister is down on the inside. And now Bodie Meister's ahead of Trini Berg. Bodie Meister and Trini Berg will lead that charge to the first turn at Churchill Downs. Daddy Longlegs, Hansen. Oh, Hansen's hard to control early. Gemologist is fifth on the outside. I'll have another is next. And Calvin Burrell is right on the rail with Take Charge Indy as they move into the turn. And then it's Daddy Knows Best on the far outside liaison. Creative pause. Optimizer along the rail. Between those two is Delahan. And then it's Alpha. Followed by Saber Cat. Rousing Sermon to the inside. Perspective went the day well. Union Rags is third last early. He is 18th onto the backstretch. Ahead of Dunn Talking and the trailer El Pedrino. 45 and 1. Oh, they're flying up the backstretch. And Bodie Meister's in front. He's on front by a length and a half. Trinneberg on the outside is second by another two lengths. Hansen is in third. Take charge, Indy gets that rail trip. In fourth as they head for the turn, he's five lengths off the lead. Gemologist is next, then I will have another. Liaison is on the outside. Union Rags is down at the rail. He's always in traffic. Union Rags in a lot of trouble on the far turn. He's boxed in. Bodie Meister on the lead as they round the far turn. Trinneberg is second. Hansen is third. I'll have another. Creative cause moves up on the far outside, but it's Bodie Meister at the top of the stretch, and Bodie Meister's got a five-length lead. I'll have another on the outside. Now is moved into second, and then down toward the outside. Creative cause. Bodie Meister holding on to the lead. I'll have another on the outside. Is closing in. I'll have another color. Bodie Meister. Doug O'Neill accepting the hugs all around, owned by J. Paul Redham, who is a staunch supporter of thoroughbred racing. This is a horse that won the Santa Anita Derby by a nose after not racing from February 4th when he won the Robert Lewis as a 40 to one shot, came back in the Santa Anita Derby, won it by a nose. The first win in history for post position 19 in the Kentucky Derby. And in his first Kentucky Derby ride, Mario Gutierrez, who was based at Hastings Park in Vancouver, went to Southern California. The owner read him said to Doug O'Neill, let's try Mario. And in his first try, wins the Kentucky I Derby. Wow. I've been asked all week long, probably more than any other question, what about Mario Gutier Gutierrez in his first Derby win? Will he freeze up? This kid's got ice water running through his veins. No, he hasn't made any mistakes since the Santa Anita Derby, before the Santa Anita Derby, in the San Felipe Stakes, and another great ride today. What a job from the far, or the next to the far outside post position two. Post 19, tactically, not an easy spot for this horse because he has enough speed to be a stalker. He came from pretty far back in the pack today. And Donna is next to Mario. I am next to Mario, and I can tell he's already taken, overtaken with emotion. Mario, you you're just came off a of Santa Anita win with this horse. Your first Kentucky Derby, you get the win. How special is this? <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. Thanks to Mr. Redham for the first time. He saw me in Santa Anita and gave me the opportunity to ride these horses. It's amazing horse. <laughs> so thanks to him, Togo, Neil, all his connections, uh, the grooms, everything, everybody's such 
Who's that today? Go with him. My family in Mexico. I know.